we're not seeing a lot of movement in the United States for current technology, but we see it around the world where that nuclear is being seen as a way to address the power needs for places like China and India, where they have a growing middle class and they need to do it without having, without uh, polluting their airs, the air, in order to create that much energy for that too much demand. What's interesting in the, in the US, outside of just nuclear safety record, is that we're looking at advanced reactors. So there's two types of advanced reactors. There's, there's reactors that are basically the same mega scale that the current reactors are at, the 1,000 to 1,500 megawatt reactors, but they use advanced fuels. Those are accident tolerant fuels that uh, won't melt down if there's a nuclear meltdown. They have new safety devices that we learned from Fukushima as what needs to be put in, into these things where they have passive cooling and, and passive shutdown processes. And that way, they're, not only is the fuel more advanced, they're getting more efficient use out of that fuel. They're using more of the uranium in that fuel so there's less waste. Uh, but technology, technologically, they're more efficient and more effective. So that's where the US government and that's where a lot of the, the people in the nuclear industry in the United States are looking to. And the other segment we're looking at are called small modular reactors. These are reactors that have less than a 10, mega, or 10 megawatt generating capacity. And uh, the beauty of small modular reactors is that not all power markets are equal in the US or anywhere in the world. So you can have places where you have high population densities like we have in the East Coast or West Coast, but you've got population centers in the middle of the country where the, you don't need to have you know, 2000 megawatts of electricity generation or more. You could get away with a couple of hundred megawatts and some of these small, small modular reactors are ideal by placing them in these communities and areas where you need power. Another place we're looking at is in, in the remote areas. Let's say for example, in Alaska, uh, right now, a lot of the communities rely on diesel generation. Small modular reactors uh, address two things. One is, is the reliability of fuel, but two, and, and reduce cost. And the other is, is the, 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 the reduction in carbon emissions. And then we can get into lots of other applications on these smaller reactors that there, but that's where a lot of the trend in the United States is going is towards advanced reactors and these small modular reactors. <laughs>